Hey guys, this is Shabna Rahman and you're watching The Shabna Show. I'm starting my YouTube channel today and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm here at the Parika Stellan East Bank Esequibo and I'll take you over to where the speedboats are moored. These speedboats transport passengers to Bartika, Supanam on the Esequibo coast and on the islands of Wakenam and Leguan. Here is Juburn Sandiford, the owner and captain of one of the boats, to tell you all you want to know. Well, my name is Juburn Sandiford, and I call it Bali, Brother Bali. Uh, we've been working on Black Shore for 27 years now. I'm from the Supernatural Coast. We start working from 6 to 6. 6 in the morning, 6 in the afternoon. Well, it's kind of a little slow right now. So Have like about nearly a hundred boats right now. Well, we used to carry before 19 and, and stuff like that, but because of the pandemic, no, we only put three persons in the sea, so we charge 50,000 dollars. What we just put on was, was 13, so we just put on 200 dollars. Sometimes the water could be very rough. I live around the, the waterfront, so actually, I used to do boat building before, and uh, from boat building, I Decide to go on I get a light boat. So, I go anywhere. I go on a particle, a blue, a anywhere. The best area to work. <laughs> Guy is a beautiful country. <laughs> I think, well, super now because I born and grew here. And I like, you know, being around here. I think we don't know like being around here. Yeah, I have a sailor also. We cannot work by ourselves, so we have to work with a sailor. We work as a team, assist the passengers to get in the boat, assist them to come out, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you get a hire where, remember, this is our job, it's what we do every day, and we have customers. People will come and say they want the boat. So with when we started with the 75 first, the boat was open out boat and so a lot of people used to be scared to travel with speed boat because um, the, the boat was more small and when the water is rough we had this leatherette that you used to got a hole in front of you to keep to block the water from wetting you. When the rain fall it used to be more, you know, it's not comfortable because it's just by the time you reach Kurika you soak. And so um, after the PPP government take over, then um, Minister Ben, he come down and he see it and then he said um, he wanted the boat them to shed. So after he said he wanted the boat to shed, it, uh, well, we had to build the boat bigger <coughs> and it was more money, you understand? So a lot of people see it that it was like a bad thing, but then um, when we finish building the boats and shedding the boats and making people more comfortable then everybody really understand what he was trying to say. So. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm Curtis Adams. I'm presently uh, functioning as one of the speedboat monitors and I'm in charge of the Puerico Supernav, Puerico Baconav and Puerico Leg One routes. As you can see, um, the boats are in process right the leg one and the Bacanam and Sukhnam. We, we have a system here where they load in order, the one after the other, you know, the turn system. So you won't find this, this kind of fight down uh, attitude like the mini bosses, etc. etc. Right, so when they put this, they have to load right now, it's loaded for Sukhnam. This one is Bacanam and the uncovered one are the leg one. So, so this is a day to day, day to day operations. You know, some days, you know, the, the traffic might be heavy because we have to cut. You know, we, we have to compete with the ferries. You know, the ferries, especially the Asuko ferry, because the Asuko ferries, um, they operate four schedules on a daily basis. So you know, we have, as I said, we have to compete with them. And, but we, we survive, we survive. 
Uh, well, we've been the, 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 the system has been going good so far because there are orders and um, people adhere to the rules, etc. You know, and uh, we've been doing this for what? I've been here for almost 30 years. I'm on, I've been the chairman for over 20 years. Um, I'm the secretary also. So there you have it guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you'll be notified when I post my next video. See you then.